Is there like a fitness test you like to get in the army? Yes, What's there are like? fitness tests in the army. Um, so, yes, you have to pass a certain level of fitness, whether it's upper body. Does that help? Okay. Yes, sir. Have you seen or been in active combat? Well, yeah, so I went to Iraq. In Iraq, I did not. I was mostly on the base. That's, Iraq was awful because I was mostly on the base. Unit of people, 800, 600 people, 800, 900 people. And that means I am in charge of the mission, making sure that we are meeting our mission requirements for the nation, for the Army and the nation. And I'm ensuring that, so I don't actually direct supervisors, Army Corps of Engineers. He was a natural resource manager. Awesome. Yeah, that's okay. Anyway, um, so yeah. I said something. I should have said it. So like, uh, no way, man. Like, um, <laughs> heck no, I didn't do that. Like, you know, screw you. You know, or, or something. You know, maybe that you don't want to fight. But um, you know, rumors were an issue in high school. Are rumors still an issue here for you guys? Yeah. Right. What's the problem with rumors? They can hurt a person, right? Yeah, no, no, I mean, like, I'm being serious here. Rumors can really hurt a person. I remember dealing with a rumor um, with something about me, and I didn't even know what it was about. I, I was so naive, I had no idea what that, what the lie was. But, you know, I, at the time, okay, that's an extreme example, right? Some in the army. But there's also those other more everyday examples of just doing this. That's basically what it is. Personal courage is having that bravery, that strength inside of you. That's courage. And your people. Those are the things that are important uh, as a leader. You um, experience? Yeah, sure. Those are good words. What about you guys? Any other words in mind when you get leadership? Courage. Courage. That's good. Yeah, absolutely. I think all those are very relatable to what a leader means. So. Being a leader doesn't mean that you're the one telling everyone what to do. It doesn't mean like, oh, I get to boss you around, go do push-ups, go do sit-ups, or go do my laundry. That's the leadership positions in high school, and I also help you get to this point. And then sometimes people are natural. Not physically, because like I said, I was not the best runner. I was one of the worst ones. Often because, I don't know, I guess she saw my desire to want to help other people. Sometimes, like, <laughs> Um, so what is actually my you know, person here? Anyways, um, yeah, so that's kind of like my story of my school uh, being just involved in cross country and swimming. I was the team captain.
days I knew I wanted to study, I knew I wanted to go to a good school. Um, and so despite these challenges and these stereotypes and these negative things that were surrounding me, um, those different challenges, things that other kids might say about me, or even teachers that probably didn't believe in me, and I, I knew that for a fact too, teachers that were probably not the best teachers because <laughs> nonchalantly, but it's actually kind of a hard process, just like most of my colleges are, but the military academy wow. does require some sort of processes, congressional nominations, things like that to get to. But, you know, I persevered. I, I decided I wanted to go there, um, and that's where I went. And so, um, it's very lovely. trying to do clubs, like I started a club at my high school, or I liked to join, um, I was a part of band, I was also in like physics and calculus, and those types of classes, I really enjoyed those types of things personally, I liked doing cross country and swimming, so I was involved in a lot of things, and in a very, um, my hands were in a lot of different areas, but um, I did them well enough that when I applied to the U.S. Army Military Academy, um, they accepted me into there. Does anyone know what the Military Academy is? Um, US Army Military West Point. Okay, so let me just explain, I guess, what that is. It's a uh, academy out in New York, uh, West Point, and it's basically the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Coast Guard all have their own military academies, and basically it's a four-year college uh, paid for. It's, you don't pay The video. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's great. You know, it's very minimal, small. I had a class of like 15 when I first moved up. It was a very tiny class. And then I moved halfway through, like fifth grade, and I came up through a class of about, I think, 200 people. So a little bit bigger than what you guys have here as far as your graduating class. I just naturally, my mom was very influential as far as she wanted me to have really good grades. It's kind of like a you know, a lot of different cultures do this, but my mom was very...